Alright, welcome back. I'm going to postpone going to the Still Shrine of Miriam, and I'm going to get some marks and claim some rewards from my block. First and foremost, I'm going to take on a few marks before I continue. Just like I said, I'm going to need a meat shield, and that meat shield is Larsa. <coughs> so with that, I'm going to the Sand Sea first, and see what new marks appear. And then after that, I'm going to claim any rewards from Mont Blanc that I could possibly claim. And then, I'm going to begin hunting. And the marks I hopefully want to take on first would be Ixtab, Mind Flayer, well, Ixtab's here. I'll speak with the petitioner. He just so happens to be back at Jahara. And next, I will... S Except this position as well, because it's also in the same place we're going as well. I'm going to use Larsa for at least three of these hunts. But since my player isn't here, I'll just take out Barrel Retriever. It's no big deal. My player will eventually be unlocked anyway, so it don't matter. But also, like I said, I want to claim a lot of as many rewards as humanly possible. Unfortunately, there is a mark I'm not going to be doing right now, but I will do it when I get stronger, and that's Gill Snapper. Well, Marlo looks the other one too. When I get like level 51, then I'll deal with those two marks. Also, I'll make sure that I'll have an empty file just specifically for Marlith because of the spawning conditions. Teleport stone is always better. Gill always a good thing. Dear God, how many rewards are that? And they misspelled Arcana. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, about these Trickster, Atlan, and Gill Snapper. I'm doing those later. Orthros, I probably might do that later as well. I'm just going to set the hunt. Because Orthros plays a huge part in fighting an Esper. I may accept the build, but I'm not going to do those hunts immediately. In this one, you defeat Trickster, it'll unlock an even better hunt. I think. Or rather, it'll give you an important item. One of the two. Wait, it's an important item. That's what it is that you have to sell. Antlion, I know exactly what this one gets. Once you defeat this one, you get one of the better hunts of the game, Gil and possibly one of the hardest, Gilgamesh. Or at least, it'll lead you to him. But 
for now, I'll postpone those hunts for later. Because <clears throat> they look like they're pretty tough. In the meantime, let's focus on the easier ones. At least the ones I can use Larsa for. Anything else? There. Oh, yeah. I don't feel like taking on White Moose just yet, so it's back to the South Gate. A little change of plans in the exhibition. One of which would probably be actually the only change of plans in the exhibition that I plan on showing up after Judge Bergen. That would be the Shadow Seer. Considering I've already beaten the way up to Shadow Seer, I just want to show you how to beat one of its parts. That's probably the only changes. Other than that, oh, well, that and how to get to Hellworm. I'll show you how to get to Hellworm. I'm not going to show you how to fight him. Well, I'll show him how to get to Hellworm and LP. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, where's this bastard? Let's see. That's the one. And we're coming up to him. Excellent. That's the one. And ironically, X tab is in the face one shaft. That means we're going to be going straight to Hine Mines in a few minutes. Anything else on this? Anything else? Well, I wanted to say. Well, I'm pretty much out of things to say. I'm just enjoying the music of Jahara. This is one of my favorite tracks in this game. Granted, it's been reused a lot. And again, most of the tracks here are reused a lot. Anyway. This guy's in the face one shaft, right? That means... He's over here. So, guess what? We'll be dealing with X-Tab in the next part. See you there.